I'm very free spirited. I feel like I can be I'm very ambitious, too ambitious for myself. Yes, I love to meet people, I love to make friends. I'm too nice to the point where I get taken advantage of. And I know that because people have told me, my sister has warned me, she thinks I'm too nice, she thinks I'm too calm. I can be upset. And when I'm upset, I'm not even funny. <laughs> like, when I'm upset, you know I'm upset. I don't know how to keep things to myself. I'm very outspoken. If I'm not enjoying wherever I am, I speak. I'm very outspoken. I'm free spirited. I'm kind. I'm ambitious. I'm very hard working. I love to travel a lot. I love to go to new places. I love to try out new things. I love to drive. I love to go shopping. I love to get new stuff. I love gifts. I love surprises. That's me. I don't have a love of my life <laughs> yet. In high school, I had a crush on a guy from JS1 to SS3, and he never, for one time, looked at my side. Uh, I graduated and I moved on. <laughs> I mean, he's doing his thing now, and I'm doing my thing. Okay, my first kiss was in high school. I was in SS2 at that time. I was, it was a very awkward feeling. It was very awkward. I had like goosebumps and I just covered my face and I ran away. <laughs> so that was my first kiss. I would say when I thought I liked a guy genuinely, regardless of what I had to offer, what he had to offer or what I had to gain would be at age 20. I've learned to be professional about that aspect of my career. So there's never been a time that because of a kissing scene, I've fallen in love or wanted something extra. So no. You will find cereal. You will find a lot of fruits. I love watermelon. I love bananas. You find nuts, you find a few stored food, you find drinks, chivita, I love chivita, orange, and yeah, cranberry, you find cranberry juice. If I had the chance to grab two things, <laughs> because I can't leave my phone, and if my phone is part of it, I'll grab my phone and my phone plus my laptop, that's one. <laughs> and, then, and then I will grab, I will grab everything though. I will try, I will grab my TV. I can be very lazy in the morning. Like I can wake up and be lazy. I'm that slow kind of person that wakes up. Depending on what I have planned for that day, it motivates me. If I'm starting a new film, ooh, I get so motivated. I'm the first to wake. I'm very agile, times like that. This is not good, I'm being honest. I'm not a drinker. I don't like alcohol. But at some point in my life, when I thought things were not going as planned, I would go to Bay Lounge in Lekki and drink. I thought that was how to get out of difficult situations, but that is not it. How to get out of hard situations for me now is just speaking to myself. Depending on whatever is pulling me down, I motivate myself. I speak to my mom a lot and my sister. I want to believe that a lot of things have changed about me. If you had asked me this question about four months ago, what is my greatest fault? I would have said, my greatest fault was jumping into conclusions, reacting the first chance I get, not thinking about the situation, just jumping and reacting and then regretting later. So I'd have said that was my greatest fault. But not anymore. Singing. I don't know how to sing. <laughs> I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> yeah. I would try to be 
top class real estate personnel, I would want to be into the real estate business. I think every actor talks to themselves. Well, I talk to myself a lot. Growing up, responsibilities, yeah. <laughs> Having to do so many things and my fear is not being able to do these things when I'm supposed to do it. Aside from my own personal needs, my family, the people around me. Yes, I can. I've learned to be in control of my emotions and my actions. So, I don't think there's anything I dislike about myself. When people take advantage of your kindness, that puts me off. Yeah, uh, yes, of course. It's got a secret. <laughs> Okay, I have regrets. Yes, I do. I have regrets. I think the most embarrassing moment of my life was when I went out with my friends and we got done. We were supposed to go home and then I parked in a car park which was pretty far and I was so pressed. There was no bathroom around just before I almost peed on myself, I saw two guys walking opposite direction of me, one of which was my old time friend. And I was literally, my legs were crossed. <laughs> I was almost peeing on myself. And I just needed to like find the spots, but I couldn't. So it was so embarrassing because I could feel. <laughs> but I held myself, I held myself. That was very embarrassing for me because then he started trying to have a long conversation and I was, I just wanted to pee and it was terrible. It was when I was young. He told me that you're dumb, you're a fool, you're, you're a numbskull, you're lazy, you're this, you're that. And the worst thing ever done to me would be when I was in... Um, University, 200 level, and I had friends who I decided to make my sisters, but they they stabbed me right in the back. I think we're using the word hate. I hate you. I regret ever saying that. I said that once to someone out of anger. Hate is such a strong word. I won't consider it the worst thing. I guess one thing I did which I feel was wrong was when I had two friends and one came to tell me a lot of stuff about the other person saying that she had been talking about me and saying a lot of things and I didn't give that friend the chance to explain. So I just cut her off and I told her off and I destroyed our friendship not knowing that it was this friend who came to meet me that was a bad person. You are a star, you are great, you will be great, you will shine, you will be great. And that was from my mom. I like every part of my body. <laughs> I think it would be having time for, enough time for friends because I learned recently that no time spent with your friend is a waste because I lost someone and if I had had a little time to spend I would have at least been the last five people she got to see before she passed. My phone. <laughs> it's an addiction. My first relationship was with a guy who really liked me but things just didn't go as planned because is there anything like when a guy likes you too much then he reacts in ways that is not right so yeah that was how the relationship got i guess he liked me too much and he wasn't in control of his actions and emotions anymore yep i dance in the rain a lot 
<laughs> Coming from school, being ready to get beat by my dad. I dance in the rain regardless. I think so far, um, which was very recent, my, my wildest imagination was having to be the center of the ocean <laughs> and having to swim my way to the bank because I recently shot on an island where I had to get on the boats at like 9 p.m. Not the speed boat, though. those like really local canoe boats with the machine, How I don't know. So yeah, my wildest Im imagination was what if the boats capsize? What will I do? I don't think I want to swap my life with anyone because regardless of the few things that happened as a child, I feel like everything happens for a reason and everything that happened to me and my siblings and my mom and everybody happened for a reason. It pushed me to be hardworking. If that happens, wow, I would, I would help people a lot. I would bring a lot of people out from places that I have been to and I have seen. I would help people go through school. I would send my siblings to school, like, till they're done. I would obviously make my life better and my family's lives. I would touch lives of other people, the people around me far and beyond. I would probably create a foundation. I don't think I believe in love at first sight. I mean, I believe in oh, looking at someone and admiring how it looks. But well, love is beyond physical appearance. So I do not believe in love at first sight. Did I enjoy school? I enjoyed a bit of school. But the times where I had sleepless nights for days and I looked so haggard, I didn't enjoy those moments. But I enjoyed the process of school. At first, my beginning in university, I was very serious, very serious. Like I was almost the class rep along the line. I was still serious, but not to the point where I wanted to be the class rep. I just wanted to, I was more focused about getting my grades done. I wasn't involved in any so social curriculum activities like being the president of this or being Miss Unilag and all that. No, I was just focused on trying to get my grades intact for me to graduate and out. <laughs> my best memory of childhood would be spending time with my siblings. I used to act a lot in front of the mirror with my siblings. We used to do this drama thing a lot. Jogging with my mom, I love that. Going out with my extended family, my cousins, the Odita family. I loved that part of my childhood. My worst childhood memory would have to be personal. It was when a guy told me that, <laughs> ridiculous, he told me, oh, he was ready to get married and he was going to take me to his mom the next day. And I looked at him, I'm like, I just met you. How can you even be telling me all these things? Obviously, he was just saying all that to try to woo me. But he didn't know that the girl here was on a totally different level. <laughs> so I just shunned him and I walked away. <clears throat> I had a lot of nicknames. I was commonly called Miss World. Yes, because I was always wearing heels and catwalking around the house. But when I was younger, I knew that I always wanted to be in front of a camera or be a news broadcaster. I used to practice that a lot. I used to be um, a radio personnel with my phone. I would go, good morning, this is Uchen Wefina. <laughs> I used to do that a lot. So yeah, I always knew that I was going to be in this circle. I wasn't just sure how I would start, but I've always been that's in that direction. <laughs> <laughs>